Yes, and and we are utilizing a lot of the telemedicine visits right now, Mm -hmm. just that we can, um, you know, more adequately evaluate the patients. And it's for their peace of mind and it's for our peace of mind. And we can together, you know, come up with a plan of care so that everybody feels comfortable and safe. Hello, and welcome to the Homepage Network. I'm Sarah Vogt. Joining me is nurse practitioner Angela Dixon from the Mansfield Laurel Health Center to answer some very important questions about staying well this season. Welcome, Angela. Hi, good afternoon. What can we do to protect ourselves from the flu? First and foremost, flu vaccines. the strain differs year to year it's still our best defense Mm -hmm. beyond that it is good hygiene it's hand washing keeping your surfaces clean coughing and sneezing into your elbow keeping hands washed using tissues appropriately and throwing them away Mm -hmm. just very good sanitary practices Mm -hmm. Is there a way we can boost our immune system during this time of um, so many viruses affecting us? Yes, good good health and nutrition, mm-hmm. keeping yourself adequately hydrated with lots of water. Um, the efficacy of vitamins has been kind of disputed over the years, but mm-hmm. certainly eating a healthy diet. Yeah, those good old fruits and vegetables never harm anyone. Exactly. Well, if someone's feeling ill, is there a flu test um, the patient can get? There is. Um, we do flu swabs here, and I believe most offices have the, act, have the ability to test for flu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if someone comes in, they're just not sure, um, I know it's benefiting them and you to know exactly what is bothering them, and the test is beneficial. Yes, it really helps to narrow things down so that we know how to best treat them. Mm -hmm. Well, if we choose to be vaccinated for the flu, when do you recommend we do it? We're going to start vaccinating people here at the Laurel Health Centers on on October 1st. Mm -hmm. It does take about two weeks to build up that immunity, and we know that by doing that, we have people well covered for, for our flu season here locally. Okay, well locally, I don't know this answer, Angie, but what is the flu season uh, period? It is typically November through March. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if someone comes to you and they have symptoms, how do you separate flu symptoms from COVID-19? Okay, and that's a really excellent question, and we've been hearing that here in the office already. a lot of the symptoms are very, very similar. Um, With the flu, I'll do that first because it seems to be a little easier right now. You know, the flu is a really sudden onset of symptoms. You can be fine one minute and the next minute, you know, per patient report, you feel like you've been hit by a truck Mm -hmm. Um, with the fever and the body aches and the cough and the sore throat. And it really comes on quite suddenly. Mm -hmm. With the COVID, what we've been seeing is that symptoms do develop a little more subtly. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, some people are complaining just of nasal congestion, loss of taste, loss of smell, and then develop into a fever, body aches, shortness of breath, even some GI symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Um, But the cute, but the big differentiation there is the onset of symptoms, whether it's really rapid or a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Well, for many of us, you know, sometimes we hesitate to go in and get checked out, even though we're not feeling well. So what's your encouragement to us when we need to see the provider? When would that be? You know, it's really important to be seen and properly evaluated. And we've been working really hard here in the centers to try to mm-hmm. try to promote some really safe access for people who need to be evaluated while keeping other patients who are here for well visits, you know, children and stuff safe. Mm-hmm. Um, we have really stringent sanitation here happening in the office. Mm-hmm. It's cleaned really thoroughly very very often and put into practice different ways to keep people safe Mm -hmm. 
Angie, on a more serious note, how do we know when we're at the point of needing emergency care? A couple different things. Um, certainly the most severe would be difficulty breathing. You know, if you're really struggling to breathe, if you're short of breath, coughing, you're noticing any, any blueness around the lips and mouth, that's a really serious medical emergency. Other things that would constitute emergency treatment would be dehydration. And you can see this with either virus, um, vomiting, diarrhea, inability to, you know, take in fluids and food or to take care of life-preserving medicines. Mm -hmm. Well, I think sometimes we just need to be seen, um, it, whether it's by Zoom. <laughs> and right. um, thank thankfully, that's happening with um, the providers. Um, yes. So if you don't want to step in the office, um, you can get a Zoom call scheduled. Because I think it's just comforting to know when you hear your providers say, no, this is what we should be doing and this is the direction we should be going to have that extra encouragement instead of fighting it on our own. I feel like so many times we tend to toughen up and want to fight it out. But actually, there are many ways to be helped, especially with the flu. Isn't there like a theraflu? Am I, am I saying that right? A medication if they determine it's the flu? Yeah, the Theraflu is an over-the-counter remedy, okay. but we do have prescription medications that are available. Mm -hmm. Now, because the flu is a virus, it doesn't cure the flu, right. but it does help to um, lessen the duration and the intensity of the flu if it's caught within the first 48 hours. Yes. Well, I think many times we're in a situation where when we're seeing um, the wisdom of someone in your position who's been doing this for a few years, um, you just know by seeing, and I think it's um, encouraging to the patients to come in. Yes, yeah, so, and we are utilizing a lot of the telemedicine visits right now, mm -hmm. just that we can, um, you know, more adequately evaluate the patients. And it's for their peace of mind and it's for our peace of mind. And we can together, you know, come up with a plan of care so that everybody feels comfortable and safe. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing um, these answers to some of our questions because um, during this period of time, it's always nice to have a little security or surety um, when you're going through these um, situations. So thank you so much, Angie. Oh, you're very welcome. If you'd like to schedule your flu shot for peak protection, call the Laurel Health Centers today at 1-833-LAUREL-HC. To learn more about flu prevention, visit laurelhc.org. Thanks for joining us today on the Homepage Network. The Mansfield Laurel Health Center is now accepting patients in the state-of-the-art Susquehanna Health Medical Plaza at Mansfield. In the same facility, Susquehanna Health is offering physical and aquatic therapy, imaging, laboratory, cardiology, and sports medicine services. For more than 40 years, our six Laurel Health Centers have provided high-quality, compassionate care to the residents of Tioga County, offering family-based primary care services, obstetrics, pediatrics, preventive screenings, and diabetes education, as well as outpatient counseling and therapy services. Our passion is to provide comprehensive health care to all who need it with dignity and respect.